Hey everyone, Percy here. Welcome to Super C. So today I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try the M Super Looper. That's the actual name of the product. M Super Looper by Melda Production. Now, what is M Super Looper? Uh, it is it's actually already there in the name. It is a looper. It is a software loop station. Uh, I think you can have up to 16 tracks simultaneously. Uh, it's, it's just a looper. So why would I be interested in something like that? Well, let me tell you a little story. So I've been a long time Studio One user. Absolutely love Studio One. It's absolutely my favorite DAW at the moment. Now, the one thing that Studio One does not have is live looping feature, so clip launching, things like that. Now hopefully in the future, maybe with the next major update or something like that, they will add this to Studio One, hopefully. But at the moment, it's still not there. So I've tried some other things, you know, I've been using Bitwig, another DAW that does have live looping features. Uh, I've been using Bitwig for about six, seven, eight months now, alongside with Studio One. Um, and another great DAW, but I'm still not convinced to leave Studio One behind in favor of Bitwig or any other DAW for that matter. I'm just too fond of Studio One. So I came across this M Super Looper. I've seen it before, so it's been around for a while, but I never gave it too much thought. But now I saw it again and I thought, you know what? Let me just give it a try. You know, just to see if for me or anyone else who's using Studio One or any other DAW that doesn't have live looping features yet, uh, if this might be a viable option. I have to say my expectations aren't really exactly very high, but you never know. So let's just give it a try and see how it works. Okay, so here we are on the Melda Production website. So this is M Super Looper. This is what it looks like. Okay, looks pretty interesting. Um, now, as you can see at the moment, it is 49 euros, whereas normally it would be 99 euros, apparently. So I just happened to stumble upon a offer for 50% off. This is valid for another two days and 10 hours. Okay, should give me enough time to experiment with this. Um, but even if it was 99 euros, I mean, it's still a lot cheaper than getting a second DAW just for live looping features, right? But anyway, let's just give it a try. I'm gonna try for free. And okay. Okay, so I managed to download M Super Looper and open it up in Studio One. But now I'm trying to figure out how to route this thing. So that's still kind of a challenge. Okay. Routing options. Okay, I think I figured something out. It's still probably not the proper way to do this. Doesn't matter. Let's try to record something real quickly. Let's go. All right, well, timing isn't perfect, but doesn't matter. Now let's see if we can um, record some audio. Okay, let's see if this works.
Okay, I seem to have figured out something else. I mean, I already knew that it was possible to use any MIDI controller to control M Super Looper, but now I seem to have figured out how to do that, or at least one of the ways to do that. So let's go here to MIDI, and in this case, let's go to Notes. Um, now let's first select a target parameter, in this case, Record, okay? And then here, let's choose what kind of button we want to assign to that. Let's choose Switch, which means that if you press the button once, Record is armed. If you press it again, it will be uh, unarmed, of course. And now let's turn on MIDI Learn, press a button, and that should be it. So now let's test this out. Let's press the button, record is on, press it again, record is off. That is amazing. Okay, let's not exaggerate, but it's very good to know that this works and it works pretty easily. Now, one of the features that I'm pretty impressed with is this effects and settings feature. So if we open that on any of the tracks, this will open up. And if we click any of the cells, look how many plugins we can choose from to, uh, to edit the sound coming from that particular track. So these are all Melda Production uh, plugins. I'm not sure if we can use all of them or if we first need to have uh, a license for all individual uh, plugins. Let me just uh, experiment here. So let's take uh, Morph. Okay, well, I seem to be able to open that up. Let's try another one. Um, EQ Split. All right. Okay, but see what you can do here. It's it's really crazy. You know, the, the possibilities are really endless. By the way, there is also uh, a 16 out version. So if I'm not mistaken, there is a version that can send all the individual tracks to different outputs. So I guess then uh, we should be able to um, edit all the different channels, all the different outputs individually in Studio One or whatever DAW you're using. So that's pretty impressive. Anyway. There's still a lot I need to figure out about this thing in terms of how to set it up, how to use it. But I have to say, based on first impressions, I'm a bit surprised. Pleasantly surprised. It seems like a pretty good option, a pretty good looper. Looping is pretty easy, it's pretty smooth. I haven't experienced any issues. So for example, no latency issues. Uh, well, of course, there are going to be some latency issues depending on the audio interface that you're using. But I haven't experienced any uh, extra latency or whatever, you know, it seems pretty stable. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how easy it is to set up MIDI controllers with this thing. I love the uh, effects change you can create. So, you know, all in all, it, it definitely has some things going for it. Now, of course, if you're using Ableton Live or Bitwig or Digital Performer or you know, Logic Pro, you know, probably the live looping features are going to be better integrated into the system itself, obviously. But this really seems like a pretty good alternative for anyone who has a DAW that doesn't have live looping features, but would still like to use live looping features. Seems like a pretty good option. I'm actually inclined to go with that offer for 49 euros. Shall I do it? Well, anyway, I still have some time left. I'm gonna do a little bit more experimenting and then I'll make a decision. For now, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna talk to you in the next video.